Hey folks, Levi here once again. You know, welcome back to another video. I uh, hope you enjoyed my pickup series of video. I watched all of those movies by the way and I enjoyed all of them. I'm sorry if y'all, you know, you didn't see a thumbnail in that video. I had trouble uploading a thumbnail, but hopefully I get it fixed now. But anyway guys, today's video I'm going to do, today's video I'm going to call this a quick update and pickups and pickups uh, 36. So a quick update and pickups 36. I just like to do that <laughs> on my hands. But anyway guys, I just wanted to show you some new movies I got on Blu-ray and uh, about what's going on on my channel just to keep you guys updated because I like doing that, like keeping you guys updated. Um, now I've just been busy with work. Yes. Uh, spent time with the family this weekend. Had a good weekend. Uh, got to watch Batman the movie on the big screen. Not not the years, but uh, not my auntie's house. And uh, she's on the big screen TV, so it was nice to watch uh, the Adam West. Uh, so she's Batman movie. That was fun to watch on TV. Yeah. Still a fun show, by the way. But anyway, uh, like I said, I've just been really busy with work lately. I'm not quitting YouTube, y'all. I've just been very busy with work. That's why you don't see many videos from now. Like I said, when I started out, you know, when I said I was back, that I am back video when I came back and I moved here with my dad in, this, in my new house here. Well, my new apartment that I'm moving in right now. Of course, I haven't paid rent to live here. <laughs> but uh, I'm not quitting YouTube, y'all. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. You know. Uh, just been busy work. Also, you know, I've just been watching movies, kind of just to celebrate the holidays. Like, you know, I've been watching my horror type, thriller type movies, uh, just to celebrate the Halloween, just to celebrate the, the getting the spirit of the holiday. I just started watching some of the horror movies I have. Next, I'll be watching, uh, be using, I have two movies on here on Del Future that I'll be watching next. So, yeah, but those three movies, they're not horror films at all. Yeah. But, uh, I will let you know, hopefully after I'm done watching the movies that I'm going to watch for, you know, since we're toward the end of September almost, you know, this is the last week of September, but the way y'all be careful, make sure everybody check is because it's getting colder, you know, yes, trust me, definitely, I've, I had noticed that last week when I walked outside, because I live in an apartment, the outside is like, outside is like in front of me, so when I walked out there, I was like, whoa, it's just been through the chill. You know, trying to hear from my car, you know, when I was driving at night. <laughs> but, yeah, but I'm still on my Superman marathon, y'all. We're still on that. We've been on Smallville. Uh, last time I talked about was uh, Smallville Season 4. So I gave my favorite episodes of Smallville Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4. So you can still go check those out if you've seen those videos. And I'm hoping in October, November, uh, of course, my next Smallville that I'm going to talk about, season I'm going to talk about, I will be giving my thoughts to so the favorite episodes of Smallville. Next one will be season five. I'll just do go ahead and talk about the quick update, which I'm doing now, but anyway. And that of course will be season five, so this will be next. Yeah. Season five of Smallville. And then I was hoping in somewhat uh, so maybe in October, hopefully when I was Smallville season five. I don't know, between either October or November, or I'm hoping in October. I'll be talking about next Smallville season six. Yeah, favorite episodes of this show, of this season. Yeah, and then uh, probably when we get to November, I'll be I'll be going back to watching some holiday type movies. This time it'll be Christmas movies. I like to start early with Christmas in November. Of course, a lot of people do. Sometimes you know they Walmart and all that stuff with. You know, wherever you guys live, you probably start Christmas early as well. I like to start Christmas early to celebrate the holiday of Christmas because it's my favorite holiday of Christmas. Be watching my Christmas movies that I have, you know, for a while in November. Maybe in November and then, you know, between November and December, I'm hoping in November, either in between or early December, uh, for Smallville, the next season talk about for Smallville will be, of course, season seven. Favorite episodes of season seven. So. That'll be hopefully next, the next one. But as for the other shows, uh, as for season eight, nine, and ten, well, since we'll probably be in December by that time, uh, I might talk about movies I want to see in 2022, and maybe I'll do that video, maybe. But
But I also want to do a Happy New Year video like I do for you guys once in a while. I'll wear the hat and, sing, you know, the Happy New Year song, you know, which I love doing that, you know, celebrating that. So, you know, doing a Happy New Year video, I love doing that. So I definitely got to find a thumbnail for that video. Probably will in, uh, maybe, uh, November. I was thinking about maybe. Yeah. Say some videos up for December. But then after that, when we get into January of 2022, I'm probably going to be, um, Given finishing up a small girl, hopefully starting in, in January 2022, uh, we start back in January. I'm hoping to start with season eight and season nine, and then end up with season ten. So the small girl will be done after those three seasons. So I figured I'd go ahead and talk about you know my next one, small girl, season five and season six and season seven. And as for season eight, nine, and ten, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, maybe I should wait till next time. Maybe I'll wait till next time to show. I ain't gonna get them out right now. I don't feel like it. Well, you know, maybe I will. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I was going to show you guys. Hopefully, in January, I'll be able to talk about these. Or. If I get lucky, you know, no, I probably won't get that lucky. It's December. It's only 25 days for Christmas, and then the holidays come out. Then I'll probably want to do any videos during the holidays, but because the holidays is where you spend time with your family and you just relax, you know. But hopefully in January I can get started back up with Small Girl, and then of course will be season eight, episodes of this season, season nine. Yeah. Season 10, which is the final season of Smallville. So hopefully I'll be in January and February. Hopefully you start getting done with Smallville after that. Yes. <laughs> Smallville has 10 seasons, but I'm getting close to getting done. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I'll probably do a pickup for Christmas video as well in December. So after Christmas Day or something like that, maybe do pick up for Christmas. Do movies I want to see in 2022, pick up a Christmas video and a Happy New Year video, and then. When I jump back into Smallville, I'll be jumping back, finishing up with season eight, season nine, and season ten. So, guys, I still have videos planned. These are still planned. So, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm just letting you guys know that I've been busy with work and what I've been doing lately. Yeah. Well, hopefully, I'll be back on Small. I mean, back to Smallville soon. So. After I'm done watching my horror movies, you know, the, the, the horror films that I want to watch, hopefully we'll be getting back into Smallville starting with season 5. And then after I'm done with Smallville in January, February, after I'm done with season 10, I'll be getting into Supergirl. I'll be doing a TV show collection for Supergirl. I'll start the, Melissa, the show starring Melissa Benoit. Uh, give my favorite episodes of season 1, season 2, 3, 4. I know there's 5 and 6, but I'm sorry. I refuse to watch season five and six because I just do not care to watch that show anymore. I'm sorry. For me, that, you know, even though I love most of her, Supergirl, she's great. Don't get me wrong; she's always great. And so those junk guys like Super, but the show to me has just gone down hill. It's just become, you know, really just too much agendas and too much pandering for me, just in my opinion. You know, and it's just gotten really boring and pretty lackluster and just lame in my opinion. The show has just become shit. In my opinion, and to be honest, I'm after Supergirl to my season four. I'm gonna start with doing two simulation for Superman Lois, the new Superman show starring Taylor Hutchison, the new Superman. You know, we're gonna be starting Supergirl season two. Of course, he got his own show, Superman and Lois. So hopefully, I'm hoping to get I'm hoping to get that show for Christmas. I'm hoping to. Hopefully, when I bring season one out on DVD, I'll be doing two simulation video for that, and. I think, yeah, Superman, I think, will be part 21, and Superman and Lois will be part 22, I believe. Uh, now I'm going to get my favorite episodes of Superman and Lois, and after that, hopefully by next year in 2022, so hopefully sometime, I'll be getting into my Batman marathon. So, you know, and when I start with my Batman marathon, the first video will start off with that marathon will be my history of Batman. It'll be the same thing video, like the same video, like, with my history of Superman. 
you know, give my history with the character and why I'm a Batman fan, but that video will be way down the road. So anyway, you know, I just wanted to tell you, give you a quick update what's going on with me, me and busy work and, you know, what I've been doing lately. And But I, of course, I'm going to continue, of course, finish talking about Smallville. So... And I've only eight season, I think eight season more to go. So, yeah, I'm getting very close to being down in Smallville. So I just wanted to let you guys give y'all a heads up. I just wanted to let you know what's been going on with me and stuff. And I've been doing fine. I've been doing good. I've been doing great. And I'm making good money from this new job. So it's a good full time job. Yeah. But anyway, uh, let's get into the pickups 36 of the video. So let's get into the pickups, shall we? And that was a quick update. Okay, let's get into the pickups. I have five movies here. I'm counting the Dove Future, so I have five movies here on Blu-ray. I just got it. I'm going to get started. First one, this stars the late Burt Reynolds. This film came out in 1977. Uh, where he played an outlaw, you know, with the hats and the cool car. And, of course, the film I'm talking about right here on Blu-ray is a film called... Smokey and the Bandit. Yes, the 40th... Anniversary. I don't know how long it's been out, but Smokey and the Bandit, I was so happy to get this. Love this movie. I miss Burt Reynolds. I think he passed away in 2018, about two years ago, I think, or three. Yeah, but he's a great actor. I definitely miss Burt Reynolds. Really good movie. You got a uh, bunch of features you have. He features a little film, but... Oh, sorry. <coughs> I don't know if you have a making of the movie, but should. But yeah, it's Movie in the Man, it's a fun movie. Uh, by the way, guys, I did review this movie on my channel. Uh, it was actually requested by a friend of mine named Paul, from aka from uh, Paul Reviews. Um, he'll be able to share out Paul Reviews' his channel. You know, I haven't watched his channel lately, but he's back on YouTube. About five or six years ago, he requested me to review this movie when I had it on DVD. So if you go to my request reviews on my channel, Smoking in the Bandit was my first request review that I ever did on my channel. So definitely check out my Smoking in the Bandit review if you want to hear my thoughts independent on this movie. So it's on my channel. So anyway, good movie though. Some Love Smoking in the Bandit classic. The sequel is another fan one. Part two was a okay, part three. I didn't care for. You know, that's just me. But classic movie. Love Smoking in the Bandit. All right. This is a Tom Cruise movie. Well, I think that, that was directed by Tony Scott. I think he also directed Top Gun. But this is where he's a stock car, a race car driver. Also, Cruise stars uh, Robert Duvall, Randy Quaid, and Michael Rooker. Really good movie. And I think John C. Riley as well. And Nicole Kidman, who I think, Nicole Kidman in real life, I think, actually married Tom Cruise after this movie. And of course, another movie came out in 1990. That is a movie called Days of Thunder. Yeah, I like this movie. Last time I saw uh, Tom Cruise's movie was Top Gun on Blu-ray. One, hopefully one day I'll get Top Gun on Blu-ray. Definitely like that. But Days of Thunder, really good movie. I enjoyed this film. When I said Nicole Kidman, I think him and her, I think her and Tom Cruise got married. I think they were married for a while. I don't know. They did some other movies together. Yeah. Because I think I remember so if you see on YouTube the very Batman Forever, I think they were still, because she was in Batman Forever in 1995, so I think her and Tom Cruise were still married by that time. Yeah. But Days of Thunder, really good movie. Tom Cruise is a really good actor. Hey, he's, he just doesn't have the looks, but the guy can act really good. He's really good at screaming and really yelling when he needs to, and he has definitely he has... Cruise, Tom Cruise, I definitely think, has the charming charisma on screen, and he has screen presence. I think that's what makes him a story, is that he has screen presence. So, but, uh, yeah, really good movie. Definitely look forward to watching Days of Thunder. It's not better than the original poster, but still, good. So I have this movie on Blu-ray. Good movie. Yeah. And this film, this is a Steven Spielberg film. Oh, don't want to miss the Blu-ray of it. I would like to have this film on Blu-ray. This film stars Tom Hanks, and he's done some other films with him. I think I reviewed British Spies, but this film I did not review. And I did not review Days of Thunder, but it's a film called, you know, or co stars Matt Damon, Matt Damon, Errol Burns, Tom Sizemore. I think Vin Diesel is in this film as well. And that film is called 
see a spoiler film starring star, star, Mike's The War movie called Same Player Ryan. I don't know what my favorite horror movie, not horror movie, war movie is, but it might be this, Same Player Ryan. Yeah, it's a long movie. It's about, it's 169 minutes long. It's long, but the film go, the film is really excellent in my opinion. It never gets boring. It just keeps you invested with the story about, you know, Tom Hanks and his crew, his, his, his military men, all, his squad basically. They're sent out to search for, of course, Ryan played by Matt Damon, who was his brothers were murdered, and they had to go and search for him. But his brothers being murdered in combat, so he, they had to go search for him. But they had to go behind enemy lines, I guess, something like that. And of course, there's a big war coming, so yeah. But the movie's really good. I definitely for watching Super Part Ryan. Classic movie, in my opinion. Steven Spielberg just can make this movie great. Yeah, his films can be long, but no matter what, Spielberg always makes a great film, no matter how long it is. I mean, a guy just knows what he's doing. He's an excellent filmmaker. He's, Steve Spielberg is my favorite film director, so... I like a lot of them, but Spielberg is probably my, my number one. So... The Save Heart Ryan, great movie in my opinion. Good movie. Alright, and these are double features, which... I don't think I'm disappointed with these double features are no special features. I think these films deserve, like, a making of or something. And it's a shame I don't get one, of course. They star Christopher Lloyd, Angelica Houston, the late Royal Julia. Yeah. And it's right out, and directed, both films are directed by Mark, I mean by Barry Seinfeld. And that film, the, I have a double features of, of course, The Adams Family, the 1991 film, and Adams Family Values. Adams Family Values, the 1992 film. Now, I did review these movies, you know, for my summer of life. Ah, shit, let me listen. But anyway, definitely both great movies in my opinion. Classic films, I love these movies. And the film that I use was my favorite and family movie. I definitely look forward to the new one coming out. I do like the 2019 film, despite its issues. And I look forward to Adam's Family too. That looks like it's going to be fun, so I look forward to seeing that. But I, And the reunion one with Tim Curry, even though I liked him, I did review Adam's Family Union, but I ranted on it because I do hate that movie. I think it's a, I think it's garbage, but that's just my opinion. I think that film sucks. But these two movies are great in my opinion. Show you the back with Cousin Ed and uh, Pugs on Wednesday and <laughs> there's Fester, Grandma Adams, Morticia and uh, Gomez getting his head by by hand. Or, I forget the character's name. Thing. <laughs> Thing, you know. Yeah, and then of course Adams on values. Well, Professor, this time to get married to Debbie. <laughs> yeah. And Lord's playing the piano, and. Yep, more pictures there. Yeah, I'm glad I have these films on Blu ray, but the only thing I'm disappointed with is there's no futures. Why not put futures on? You know. I was always told that Blu ray has futures for films, but I guess not. But I did review this movie, y'all. You know, I did review these two movies. I did review the Adam Family film. Yes, the night this. I did review these two films. Uh, if you look on, go on my random reviews, they should be on there. Hey, why not watch them now? Because, uh, well, you can watch them in October since Halloween's coming up. If y'all want to watch my review of the Adam Family and Adam Family Values, just go on my random reviews. They're there. I promise. Or maybe, hopefully, this October I'll share them. Not as well since Halloween time. And I'm definitely going to be watching these next after review reviews. Yeah. Because why not? Another perfect time to watch them since we're getting to October. So. But Love Adam Family, they're double classic movies. Uh, Chris Lloyd is Uncle Fester, he's just great in my opinion. I don't think nobody's really ever topped him as Fester. I think he'd be my favorite Uncle Fester. I need to see the show, but. Nope. Yeah. Episode 2019, I did do a first reaction video on it some time ago. But I did the trailer reactions to it as well, if y'all want to check those out. They're on my channel still. You know, thoughts on videos, should be on that. If you want to know what I think about the 2019 Adam film, just go to First Reaction. I don't want to look it up right now, but if you go on it, you could probably see me put right something in the description below if y'all want to check that out. But the Adam Family films definitely like some classics in my opinion. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for the Pick Up 36. Oh, on. So, these are all the movies that I got. Just these. Yeah. Yeah, here, 
Yep. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the quick update. Just explaining. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick a quick update and pick up thirty six. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. And uh, again, uh, hopefully I'm done watching my horror movies in October. Hopefully I'll be back on Smallville, starting with Smallville season five. So hopefully this will be the next video for real. My thoughts and such favorite episodes of Smallville season five. And if I even buy one movie, maybe a horror movie, about movie. If I do, I'll do like a finally video. But small with season five, that'll be the next video. So we're still in the Superman marathon, but we're very close to being done with it, as I explained earlier in the video. So the small with season five, this will be the next video. Yes, it's intended to be. But I'm still watching some horror movies. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna keep going and watching them. I always do, but not today, because I'm gonna have to go to bed sooner or later because I have to go to work tomorrow. So then having to go to bed early, wake like up 4 a.m. in the morning. So, but anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a good day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick update and pick up 36. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you look forward to uh, more of my videos. You know, I hope you look forward to more videos of Smallville. I hope you And guys, if you've seen any of these movies, let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. And guys, uh, wherever you're at, have a good night, great day, good evening, wherever, wherever you're at. Have a good one, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video, hopefully, uh, maybe in October, sometime in October. My thoughts, my favorite episode of Smallville Season 5. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.